Well, welcome to this week's free webinar, everyone. So sorry for the delay. I, I was having trouble logging in, but we'll now be starting. So how's everyone feeling today? Gail feels a bit tired. Judith feels good. Well, it's a good thing that you're here, Gail. Okay, so now without further ado, we'll get into today's webinar. So I thought what we could touch on today is the false spirit guides. So type a Y in the text chat if you guys have heard of false spirit guides before. Yep, so everyone here has. Yeah, so if you've been on the spiritual journey for a little while, you would be familiar with them or have some kind of idea. But anyway, the way it works with these guys is it's quite interesting because, I mean, like think of the love and light movement as an example. So where they're only focused on everything being light, everything being peace, but and they don't believe in evil. And when you have that type of stuff come, going on, that's when you know that they're around. Because false spirit guides in a nutshell are basically dark masters or beings who disguise themselves as angels of light. And that it looks like they can look like the higher masters. So, I mean, they may be saying all the right things and you may be feeling really good, but you won't be seeing any fruit out of it because the higher masters keep in mind, they don't come to you unless it's for a good reason. Like whether it's for like, whether it's to heal you of stuff, to bring you to the next level, or if they've got a message for you, or I mean, if, or if they're calling you into something bigger or smaller, whatever, either way, I mean, it's all in the end, it's always the dark masters because they're the ones who are disguising as angels of light to look like they're there to help you, but they're just leading you into your own destruction basically. And the way to identify them is quite simple. So the way that you identify them is if you notice that they have all the right words to say, because if they do, if it seems too good to be true, then it is. Because, well, as we mentioned, higher angels or masters will not come to you unless there's a very good reason. Because um, they, most of the time, there is no reason for them to be associating with people on the planet. Because, as we all know, most people are stupid. And so, I mean, most people's consciousness is nowhere near that level. But um, when you start to increase and raise your own consciousness, that's how you'll start to get these light masters come and work with you to then help you come into your own excellence because well i mean there's no way that they're going to work with you if you don't even believe in false spirit guides or and um, only believe in the love and light kind of bullshit or anything similar and it's the same deal with the churches like when exercising your power in any way the church will persecute you for being an arsehole or like they'll guilt trip manipulate do whatever it takes to keep you stuck in that endless kind of loop. And it even says that in the Bible, even the Bible gives like a tip on how you can identify and deal with these guys. And that's by asking who is thy master. And if they can't say Jesus or like God, then you know that they're not of the light and they'll just, they'll, they'll, they'll fucking run for the hills if you do that. Because when you have them in your life, well, not only will you, not only will you be deceived and tricked, but you'll also find that your health will, will deteriorate, your mind will go crazy, and your finances will kind of come to a halt. And you'll find that you'll be very tense, you'll be storing a lot of emotions, and nothing about your life will pretty much have good in it. Whereas by contrast, when you start to get rid of these guys and start to really see the full truth of it all, that's when you can really start to make the big change. So that's when you can basically start to not only be more emotionally balanced and stabilized, but you'll also be making a lot more money. You'll be serving much more people on a bigger scale. You'll be able to help people get results in their own right. Because really that's been the whole blueprint is to everyone to prosper collectively and do the role that they were put here to do and not try and do anything else. Because then otherwise we're just being fake. We're not being real. So even just type a Y in the text chat, if you've done that, where you've been fake in your life. And if you've been tricked by false spirit guides before, just type a Y if so. Cause I know I certainly have. 
So even just type in the text chat where it is in your life, where you felt like the false spirit guides tricked or deceived you. So for me, I know it was definitely in this type of energy work in where they got me caught up in the cycle of rescuing. Gail said finance and health. Yeah, and those are definitely some big ones. And they certainly don't want you speaking your truth or speaking the truth as well. Because really they can only come in through invitation, basically. So if you invite them in in some way, so it could be like you experienced something traumatic or like, or you were emotionally out of it at the time, just something like this. And Judith said being fake. Yes. Cause that's another one is that you'll put on a lot of masks when you have the false spirit guides around. And if you're not identifying them and you're not being vigilant, because the whole point is that we don't want to be stopping at all. We don't want to reach a ceiling point and stop there. We want to always be moving but we want to be moving in the right direction and continue to move in that right direction. So Judith said, yes, being true to myself. Mm, correct. Yes. Mm, not being to myself. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you want to be kind to yourself. You want to love yourself because when you start loving yourself, that's when you'll be true to yourself. And that's when you will exercise your power and authority to anyone. If someone is being a dick or whatever. Or, or you can attack the false spirit guides if they're trying to come in almost. And Gail said, need to let go of the fear of rocking the boat. That's for sure, because sometimes that boat needs to be fucking rocked if we're going to make a change. So you also don't want to be, you, you want to be fucking rocking that boat. Because when we, when we disrupt and when we make, and when we kind of bring this stuff type of stuff in, people will listen and that's when people will change. That's when we will change and most importantly as well, because if we change ourselves and let go of that, we can then help other people to get out of that. So it's all, it's, it's like the same thing as everything else, just a good balance point. So now what we'll do is share our screen now. Okay. All good. So everyone now just focus on this code and inhale it into the area of your life where you feel like the false spirit guides have affected you the most. Just imagine it there and close your eyes. And just really take those deep breaths and allow your mind to relax. And just feel and acknowledge the false spirit guides <laughs> coming up and just look at them. Feel into why you allowed them in and feel into how you can remove them. We now call upon the divine protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding me and each person here. And we call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron and Christ and mother Mary. So only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, or anything else related now. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that this higher energy clearing code be used to clear any negative and dark energies from each person here that they picked up or any that is theirs and burn it up, evaporate that with the golden liquid light. 
and we remove any discarnates by providing a third order escort containing them if they resist, transport them to the astral planes justly earned now. Then we close any portals or wormholes and release any emotion in relation to these false spirit guides, especially any anger or traumas or ids, and bring back the golden soul fragments and clear out any sadness or fears, anxieties or vulnerability and help each person here to be vulnerable and, and release it all. And we now command by the power of Christ's name, by his blood and the order of Enoch, that any false spirit guides present uh, in each person here is now cast out and sent back to the lower realms to receive their judgment sevenfold justly earned <coughs> now, along with their um, implants or control devices associated justly earned now to Asia in Tadoi. <laughs> And we now cut and sever any draining energy cords or etheric cords, compassionate connections as well, and bring each person here into their own energy and help them to give, take back what's theirs, give back what's anyone else's energies that they've absorbed. remove any illusions or or deceptions or trickery from each person here and we clear any energies or influence that the false spirit guides did to them as well send it back to them sevenfold to receive their judgment justly earned now and we also clear any negative thoughts voices or doubts in the mind around it or any clouds and we now rebalance each person here and pour in that golden liquid light, send in the love from the higher mother and father. bring each person here into their happiness and joy again and strengthen them bring them into their power and their sovereignty and speaking their truth without any guilt or fear of what others will think now Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Gail feels quite balanced, aware of continuing to speak my truth. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Gail. So yeah, just continue to practice it and catch it in the moment more than anything. Dude, body tingling all over. I felt something being pulled out of my body. <laughs> yeah, that's really good, Dude. That's pretty sick. Yeah, so, I mean, there certainly was a lot being cleared out there, especially when it comes to false spirit guides. So everyone now just have some water just to integrate that. Okay, so any final questions or comments before we end for today, everyone? Gail, all good. Thanks, William. Yeah, thanks, Gail. 
Judith, no questions. I feel a lot lighter. Thanks. Yep, no worries, Judith. Glad to hear that. Okay, well, thanks again, everyone. It was another great webinar, another great clearing. And as always, if anyone ever wants to speak further with me on what this topic or working more one on one, just feel free to email me at william at the awakening within.net, which I also type into the text chat as well. Okay, well, thanks again, everyone. Have a good rest of your day, evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.